Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Veselin Topalov and Magnus Carlsen. This was a blitz game played in Paris in 2017. Veselin Topalov had white pieces and he started with c4. Is it going to be an English opening? Carlsen played c6, d4, d5. Slav defense, or maybe semi Slav. Knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, a6, knight to c3, e6, b3, bishop to b4, white move, bishop to d2, this is the most played move. If bishop to b2, then queen to a5, and if rook to c1, queen takes on a2. If queen to c2, the knight to e4. That is why bishop to d2 is the most played move. Knight from b to d7, bishop to d3, and Carlsen castle kingside. Queen to c2, queen to e7. White to move. Castle in kingside is the most played move. Topalo played knight to e5. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. Knight to g4. White to move. Topalov was choosing between bishop takes on h7 and f4. He played f4. If bishop takes on h7 check, king to h8, bishop to d3, knight takes on e5. So Topalov played f4. But now f5. If pawn takes pawn, knight takes on f6. If castling, then bishop to c5. So, Topalo played g3, rook to d8, Topalo played h3, attacking the knight. This is a very interesting moment of the game. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? If knight goes to h6, c takes on d5, c takes on d5, knight to e2 and white is ok. Magnus Carlsen played knight takes pawn on e3. Bishop takes knight d4. Bishop to d2. d takes on c3. Bishop takes on c3. Bishop takes on c3 check. Queen takes on c3. c5. White to move. Topalo probably considered castling kingside and he didn't like it. If he castled kingside and bishop to d7, and after say bishop to e2, bishop to c6. So, Topalo castled queenside, intending to push the pawns on the kingside and open the files and to attack the black king. b6, g4, bishop to b7, rook on h to g1. Black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? Magnus Carlsen played the best move. Queen to h4. Topal played bishop to c2. Rook takes rook on d1 check. Bishop takes on d1. Well, perhaps rook takes on d1 was better, but Topal didn't like this continuation. Then f takes on g4, h takes on g4, queen takes on g4, and black is a pawn up. But this is still better than the continuation in the game. Bishop takes on d1 was played. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Carlsen again played the best move. Queen to f2. Some commentators were saying that Topalo was suffering on dark squares. Do you agree? Some others were saying that Topalo was suffering on all squares. Queen to g3. Queen takes pawn on a2. White king is not happy. Watch white king moving away from black queen. Wow. Just kidding. Topalo played queen to c3, preventing queen to a1 check. Queen to f2. Queen to g3. Queen to d4. This is the best move. 
Carlsen finds good moves very quickly. Pawn takes pawn on f5, threatening checkmate. At first, it looks like that black is in trouble. But Carlsen had everything under control. It took Carlsen only few moves to win from this position, believe it or not. Anyway, what would you do in this position if you had black pieces? The best move is queen to a1 check, king to d2, and now rook to d8 check, king to e2, black, play the move and white resigned. The move is queen to b2 check, Topalov resigned, if king goes to f1, rook takes on d1 check, and if king goes to e1 defending the bishop, then queen to d2 check, king to f1, queen takes bishop check, king to f2, rook to d2 check, king to e3, and there is checkmate in 1, queen to e2, checkmate. Carlsen was just too good, wasn't he? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.